Volkswagen Golf with the R-Line Sport package. A couple of uh, new things on this car. What I like is the new active info display for the first time by it with the blind spot assist. It has the new navigation system with the biggest screen you can uh, use the gesture control. Uh, I like the headlights, the LED headlights now are available on this Golf. They look very very good and the dynamic turn signal at the back, the flowing turn signal looks just perfect, just like Audi models. With the R-Line package you get a more aggressive front bumper, rear bumper with diffuser, side skirts, rims and you can also buy it with the R-Line steering wheel and R-Line seats. This Volkswagen Golf is available with a 1 liter petrol engine 1.4, petrol engine 2 liter petrol engine and there is also the 1.6 TDI diesel engine and the 2 liter TDI diesel engine the most powerful petrol engine is the Golf R and the most powerful diesel engine is the Golf GTD this car has 125 horsepower it produces 200 newton meters of torque 0 to 62 in 9.1 seconds the top speed is 204 km per hour, that's about 130 miles per hour. The engine is a 1.4 liter 4 cylinder petrol engine. It has a DSG automatic transmission, 7 speed dual clutch. Now when you look at the front, you can see that the new Golf has the LED headlights with the new LED daytime running lights, I think it looks gorgeous. This one is the R-Line Sport package, so you get the more aggressive front bumper. It's lower and it has bigger air intakes, looks lovely in my opinion. The rims are also R-Line 5 spoke, 17 inch. You can also buy it with the 18 inch rims. At the side you have the R-Line logo. We will look at the interior in a few moments. At the back you have the brand new LED taillights with the flowing turn signals. Looks beautiful in my opinion. This Golf is the best looking Golf in my opinion. Dual exhausts at the back. Uh, the diffuser is finished in the color of the car. In black always. The trunk space is also really good. You can fold the rear seats down of course. The car weighs 1191 kilograms. The trunk space is 380 liters. When you fold the when you fold the rear seats down, it's 1270 liters. Now let's look at the interior, carbon trim, you can also buy it with ambient lighting, storage area also in the back, highline seats, half Alcantara. And this is the interior of the brand new Golf, active info display just like the Tiguan and the Passat, touchscreen navigation system flat bottom steering wheel for the first time available with blind spot assist it has LED lights in the interior this is the space left I'm 1 meter and 83 plenty of headroom lovely interior I really like the active info display and the fact that it's available with blind spot assist folding mirrors of course cruise control on the steering wheel touchscreen navigation system, new system 
adjustable armrest, also in height, storage area, cup holders, electronic handbrake, auto hold. You can turn off the start stop with this. It has the parking sensors. Also available with the automatic park system. Climate control settings. You can also buy it with heated seats. This car hasn't got it. And this is the second biggest screen you can get. Navigation, radio. Media, it supports CarPlay and Android. Apps. You can see the settings. This is the main menu of the car. With the biggest screen you can also swipe. With the gestures. Settings. These are the languages available. Important settings. Turkish. And the languages. Sound settings. Car settings. Fuel efficiency. Tire pressure system. There's also the voice activation by the way. This new active info display looks just perfect in my opinion. Above you have different menus, audio, phone, vehicle status, dri driving data and when you go further you can see different information settings. This is a lovely, lovely setting. It has of course the adaptive cruise control, you can adjust the distance, navigation, views. This, uh, was, uh, this is a very cool feature, different views as I said, efficiency, navigation, driver distance. And of course, the classic view, just like this. When you drive 100 km per hour, it's uh, 4.7 liters, uh, what I tested. When you drive 120 km per hour, the ref counter shows you 2200 RPM. When you, drive, uh, when you drive 120 km per hour, the ref counter is showing 2500 RPM. It has the adaptive push control, with, uh, which I will show. It's now set to uh, 130 km per hour. And we're now following the S-Class with AMG package and uh, S63 exhaust. And when that car move, moves to the right, I'm now accelerating. I'm doing nothing. I'm only doing the steering wheel part. I set it up to 130 km per hour with this button on the steering wheel. The speed limit is uh, 130 km per hour. We're now speeding up. When I enter the right lane, the car will automatically slow down. Uh, there's a Toyota Prius, so I will now change into the lane. And you will see immediately it brakes automatically. I'm doing nothing. And now it's uh, accelerating, very cool feature. You can set up the distance. Uh, the buttons are located on steering wheel, which is nice. What I also like about this car, uh, the, the, uh, the steering wheel has the buttons on it. The cruise control, adaptive cruise control. You can swipe uh, through the menu. The active info dif display has different uh, menus. You can choose classic speed and gear, just like this.
speed and gear for example then the middle part changes now I'm driving in second gear it tells me to put it in fourth or third it's now in third fourth so in this way you can drive economically when you turn on the classic gauges you have the classic uh, fuel with the fuel engine water temperature you can also put uh, navigation information on it or the driver assistance I think over the years years this uh, the Volkswagen Golf has become even a, a better and a prettier car in my opinion nicely done you can control the navigation with your voice voice command I like the way that this steering wheel has a flat bottom design